Raja Bhasha Panatha Gena, Abata Katakrana Velati Enne. We have to talk about the Official Language Act, not the feeling we had when it came in the past. Today, it is a little different. In the past, Sinhala and Tamil languages became widespread because of the English rule. Since all administrative procedures and documents were in English, Sinhala and Tamil were suppressed. Meanwhile, the Sinhala Language Act was accepted with great enthusiasm among the Sinhalese people. But later, when it was passed and implemented, the results were very dangerous and it became a cause of unhappiness for many people. As Sinhala was affected by English earlier, after the Sinhala language came into being, Sinhala started to suffer from Tamil. All the documents started to be published in Sinhala. So this language act is one of the main reasons why there has been a war for a long time due to this reason. At a late time, it led to a change. But when the bill was first brought to change, Mr. Bandaranayaka brought something called a Special Provisions Bill. A section claiming to be patriots and monks were also opposed. In anticipation of this opposition, Mr. Bandaranaika tore up that bill. After that, only Sinhala language was used. Again, like English before Sinhala, the Tamil language also began to suffer. So it is still the same till today. Today, the law has established that both languages are the official languages. While the constitution says that in Sinhala, all administrations in all directions have been decided to be done in Tamil, but it is still in use. This is an area that needs to be strongly changed in the constitution. Make a Andukrama Vivastaving, Prabal Elisa Vinaskalayutu, Ansiakvino.